Welcome to a very special edition of Nile magazine. Today's edition is dedicated to the political conditions in Egypt. Since the 30th of June revolution, Egypt has been fighting terrorism and it's insisting on continuing our roadmap to democracy. Today I'm happy to have with me Dr. Maha Mahgoub, Professor of Human Resources, who'll talk to us about the political situation in Egypt. Egypt is not a weak state. Egypt is not a satellite state. Egypt is a sovereign state that observes, analyzes, decides in due time, and fulfill and accomplishes what it decides. We will combat extremism, and we will combat terrorism, not only by security measures, but by the rule of law, by making sure that we have the proper framework of human rights established, and by making sure that we're continuing our proper path to democracy, as we promised and we will fulfill. I would like to share some facts with you here. The first fact that Egyptians are today more united than they were ever before. We're not only united towards a common dream, but we're united against a common enemy. I'm happy to have with me Dr. Maha Mahgoub, Professor of Human Resources, who will talk to us about the current political situation in Egypt. Dr. Maha, welcome. Hi, how are you? I'd like first to start by asking you about the latest development, which is uh, the statement of uh, Prime Minister, the Turkish Prime Minister, uh, Ragab Erdogan, yes. uh, about uh, Sheikh Al Azhar and uh, the reaction of uh, Egypt and what uh, should we do other than just condemn it? Yeah. 
Mm, hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, how are you? Um, actually, I, uh, I was uh, monitoring the current situation, political, economic, and everything uh, for the last few days or months. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, yesterday we had a lot of negotiations and opinions regarding the Prime Minister of Turkish uh, uh, about the declaration about Al Azhar, Sheikh Al Azhar. And uh, I'm so proud that we have a positive reaction, all Egyptian people, uh, especially the government, have positive reaction regarding any claims or any um, uh, negative opinions regarding our uh, system or our uh, precious people. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'm against uh, to cut off the economic uh, relationship between Egypt and Turkey. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the current uh, situation is temporary, and I hope it will not be. Uh, it will be enlarged later on, and uh, if we ha don't have uh, a negative consequence of economic or maybe violence or something like that, maybe later on, maybe we, we are going to have more stability in the current situation. So I think it's not. We are not. We don't prefer to cut off the economic or uh, our political situation with Turkey or uh, or other countries. I'd like to know more about why do you think that we shouldn't suspend our uh, bo uh, both the cultural relations because uh, the Minister of Culture said that we will be suspending the cultural protocols with Turkey and uh, why don't we pressure them uh, economically because we actually uh, import a lot of products from Turkey and yes, even uh, media wise most of their TV series uh, we import it so maybe when we uh, pressure them economically uh, and cultural wise as well then uh, this might uh, have an effect because actually now the not only the the last statement offending and attacking uh, Sheikh Al Azhar but also before that they were trying to to put us on trial and to uh, make the United States and the European Union uh, by cut or suspend our aids yes. as well as to take us to uh, as well uh, the uh, Security Council. Yes. So th these are grave uh, acts that they've committed against Egypt and they really want to uh, cause the failure of our current uh, revolution. Yes. So it's actually a matter of life uh, or death for us. Yes. So why should we be lenient towards them from your point of view? We are waiting. Uh, when after the 13th of, uh, of June that mm -hmm. we had uh, a lot of uh, troubles with mm -hmm. Westerns, US and Turkey, mm -hmm. Qatar and those are alliances together and they intended to, uh, to mm -hmm. raise our issue into uh, National Council and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, what I am declaring that uh, not the current situation is calm. It mm -hmm. ca has calmed already. We don't have a lot of troubles. Maybe uh, the issue with Turkey is uh, Islamic issue. It's not political issue. Uh, it's of course, it's political issue because <laughs> of the topples of the Muslim Brotherhood and uh, regime and so on. Mm. But they, they, they protect uh, the Islam itself first at the first, uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, but they think that it's Islam. Islam or my whole No, no, because <coughs> because they are not protecting Islam because we are Muslims as well. Yes, my they, they are protecting their <coughs> own agenda for uh, a terrorist group. Yes, yes, of course, just dividing <laughs> the Middle East and the, the new Middle East and yes. so on. But at the end, their plan that they intended to have the big. Uh, the big uh, Middle East mm -hmm. and the new Middle East, Islamic, Khilafa Islamiyah, mm -hmm. so the, uh, such as uh, what happened in the previous uh, in mm -hmm. uh, Osmani gru uh, ruling yes. uh, um, uh, regime and so on. So uh, uh, what happened in the 13th of June just collapsed all mm -hmm. the plans of dividing the Middle East into small countries and so on. Therefore, we have we, we are facing a lot of troubles from uh, Turkey, from mm -hmm. Qatar, from Westerns and US. But if we, we can notice, uh, I'm monitoring most mm -hmm. of channels, we can, we can find that a lot of protesters in Turkey itself, more than the protests what happened in, in Turkey, they are, uh, they are conducting uh, protests against Egypt or mm -hmm. against Egypt, not against their country. 
because the, it's, uh, the, the Muslim brother is an international organization. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, their existence in about uh, 86 countries. And of course, they have a lot of uh, uh, Muslim Brotherhood in uh, Turkey. And the current prime minister, of course, belongs to the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And the, they would like to protect the Muslim Brotherhood regimes and system. And if the, the system will be collapsed in Egypt, it will be collapsed in, in the 86 countries uh, as well. So we are waiting right now. We, we are monitoring what will happen. Nowadays, we can see that uh, the Western Union and uh, the European Union, sorry, the European Union and US just calm it down. So we are waiting uh, to, to monitor what will happen in Turkey. After that, uh, it depends on the sequence. If they are going to raise the, the, our issue in the National Council or something like that, so maybe we are going to boycott the economic uh, relationship between Egypt and Turkey. For the past week, and uh, actually especially yesterday, there was a crackdown on uh, terrorism in Sinai. And uh, a lot of the tunnels we've seen on uh, the various uh, televisions, including yes. ours, how uh, the Egyptian army is totally uh, Destroyed. destroying both the tunnels yes. as well as the illegal fuel tanks. Of course. Uh, what's your comment on that? Because. Some are saying that actually, uh, especially those in Sinai are saying that actually like this, we are totally uh, besieging uh, uh, the Palestinians and that this was the only uh, way for them uh, for re the relief and humanitarian yes. uh, products to reach them. Yes. Uh, so what do you think of that? Do you feel that no, we should totally uh, destroy the tunnels? If, uh, if, uh, if uh, what's uh, wha wha the, the, the usage of these tunnels is legal, so why, why should hide the, the transformation between mm -hmm. Egypt and Palestinian? Mm -hmm. Why don't we declare or to have upper the ground uh, mm -hmm. that uh, the trade, the trade and everything? But mm -hmm. those tunnels just uh, it's a way for uh, for just uh, sending terrorists 